Yeah. Now, just to mention how the ICTS came into being, the origin of the Association of Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgeons can be traced back related to its development in thoracic surgery from Christian Medical College. I think uh, Dr. Sukla is here. Yes. It was the place where the association took its birth and that's where Dr. Ryu Betts was there and he organized and founded the first full-fledged department in the thoracic of uh, cardiac surgery in the late 40s. Next, in 1954, Nagpur Session of Association of Surgeons of India, they first formatted and, and they had a first session of thoracic surgery uh, there. Subsequently, 15 members in the beginning, that is Dr. Betch, was unanimously was elected as the first president. There were no elections those days. Followed by Dr. A.K. Basu as its first secretary. Dr. Betch functioned as president for four years and was succeeded by Dr. S.S. Anand. Today, the president's role is for one year. You know, even though they are elected as the vice president, they spent five years in the association. But those days, it was four years. And later on, succeeded by Dr. S.S. Anand, Dr. Sen, Dr. A.K. Basu. Dr. Basu then functioned as a secretary for four years and later on succeeded by Dr. N. Gopinath for the Godrej Karai orations. And even Godrej Karai was there and the part of the team, Dr. G. V. Parulkar and Solomon Victor and others. Unfortunately, most of them are not there today. In the next few years, as cardiac surgery began to grow and take a major share of the annual meetings, the Association of, the Association of Surgeons was established way back in 1960. In 1972, Dr. Sujay Roy and Dr. Gopinath brought cardiologists and cardiac surgeons together and the first meeting was organized in All Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. The name was changed in 1982 that from Thoracic Surgeons of the Association of India to Association of Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgeons of India. It is CVSI. A charitable trust was formed in the year 1991. The first independent annual conference of ATCVSI held at Madras in the year 1988 gave impetus to the formation of new independent society. The Indian Association of Cardiovascular Surgeons, IACTS, as we stand today, was registered in Bombay under the Societies of Act 1860 and Bombay Public Trust Act 1950. Today, with over 2,500 cardiothoracic vascular surgeons in its fold, IACTS continues to function with increasing vigor and enthusiasm. We'll meet the current IACTCC members as we have the President Secretary, all are there in our uh, IOCTS websites and the EC members. Well, the calendar is filled with different events, continuing medical education programs and conferences throughout the year. These events provide opportunities for not just learning and sharing knowledge, but also networking regardless, regardless of age and experience. We have the IACTS con conducted every year in the month of February, either second or third week. Normally it's correct third week, but depending on the cities, and the, and the environment that we do happen it either in second or third week of February. And it's an academic section, clinical discussions, industry collaborations, interactions, which are there, which is the latest, which is the hallmark of our association. The ISH Techno College CME, an opportunity for residents to gain practice insights, hands-on training, and learn from experienced minds in CTVS with newer advances. ISH Cardiac Midterm CME, and midterm GBM, what we call it as. We have our general annual gender body meeting in the association in the month of February always. A continuing medical education program focused on cardiac surgery and meet up to a burst of the happenings of the association. The ICTS thoracic CME, an exclusive event to expose the concepts and advances in thoracic surgery. Normally, it's conducted in the month of November. Techno college conducted in the month of May. And midterm GME conducted in the month of September. August or September. We added another one called IST score last nine years, a program that has been run by the CTVS academicians and clinicians to help students to prepare for the DNB practical examinations. It is one of the unique kind where I, I took a lead uh, way back in our institute and anybody who attends this program, the pass rate of that candidate is almost 99 to 100%. That's what the output is. And uh, it's a two days program, quite uh, tight scheduled and uh, uh, it's been continued through the association and in fact we do have 
our uh, notes for this exclusive uh, notes has been made every year we update those notes on each each uh, topics and in the the students happen to go through that apart from that we have exclusive academic programs for our members of the association an opportunity for young surgeons to work closely with and learn new skills and techniques from his experts in coronary surgery congenital surgery thoracic surgery valvular surgery video assisted bad surgery these are the fellowships running currently today by the association they are certified by the association of course another recently i happened to introduce way back in this year itself that is a certificate course in critical care echocardiography it's conducted in collaboration with three associations the indian college of uh, cardiac anesthesiology indian college of echocardiography and our isps so all three come on board and at present we have registered 170 students there are many cardiac many general anesthetists who want to focus only on echocardiography even they are included anesthesia per se they have their own courses in cardiac echocardiography but apart from that some who want without being a cardiac anesthetist they would like to learn for their day to day routine we have md physicians who have registered and we have our ctv surgeons who have registered for this program every sunday there is an online program running from 9 to 10 am sunday breakfast session where who is who in india among cardiac anesthetists and cardiac surgeons they sit on board and help them to train this is only an online training they have to maintain a regular logbook a uh, curriculum so many cases of trans thoracic and trans esophageal echo uh, practical logbook is maintained and they have to attend physically at least two workshops we have in on the month of august conducted at uh, bangalore uh, and workshop with their uh, compulsory registration and uh, they will be having hands on workshop also during those days and they will be having an exit examination conducted in uh, at present two cities have been chosen one is bangalore and another is in ahmedabad subsequently we may increase wherever the students uh, a uh, number of students which increase also uh, we will plan to increase the number of examination centers and uh, certification will be given by duly signed by all these three uh, associations i am planning to have a collaboration with raju gandhi university also in karnataka which uh, the papers are in progress coming to online technology to keep up with pace as i was uh, having a discussion the igtvs is online as we know it's a pubmed index journal of the igtvs and uh, members can log in with their with their unique id self serve memberships medical and non medical professionals can apply for membership that the associate membership on the igtvs website everything is digitalized even digitalized ids are been issued and digitalized certificates have been issued uh, in the association of course iict selections what is the progress it's uh, fully online from the year 2021 and iict is present on facebook twitter youtube linkedin and instagram social media we are already on place other associated initiatives as uh, we mentioned master class series uh, almost 242 master classes were conducted during the covid times well appreciated 27 countries participated with more than around 60 to 70000 participation was the number we were conducting almost four classes in a day and gradually tapered down and these master classes we have edited the videos initially we had a, a plan of action to be published through springer on, on our journals it took quite some time and finally springer were unable to take up the entire load they had their own concerns and uh, of course uh, copyright issues and all they had that concerns and we happened to discuss with our chief editor and uh, even the igtc was to publish because it is springer related it was a challenge for us i have edited all the videos and now finally we came to a format wherein it will be released to the members on our website itself the it's uh, it's almost about 2640 hours of video presentation which had a herculean task to edit and uh, i have requested few of the industries to help us in collaborate in in meeting the expenses of the uh, editions and subsequently it will be uploaded on our, on our own website to load on the website also it's a challenge wherein the amount of space consumed is more and a proposal put in front of the ec for the additional space uh, to be consumed on the amazon services what we are functioning at coming to e journals subscription of seven international journals was uh, ro rolled out uh, two years back and there are more than at present around 300 plus members who are taking actively participating in this it's a uh, per member if you subscribe these journals it will cost you around 4.5 lakhs per member per year so association in collaboration with lcv team i took a initiative and we have reduced the cost to 5150 rupees per year for these seven journals and members are actively utilizing it it's an online journal 
coming to the benevolent fund what association took an initiative which has been happening for the last almost 20 years plus which did, which was not happening and finally last year we happened to release a benevolent fund it's a corpus that offers to one time support to the family of the deceased iacts members that's where we look at and depending on the uh, on the requirement uh, maximum up to 5 lakh rupees has been sanctioned by the association to those deceased members Mentorship at a doorstep, which was introduced uh, this academic year, uh, we will be. Uh, it's in on process, and already two applications are there. Next week, they are going to start their program. So, IST has taken initiative. Like so many questions we had asked about whether it's an aortic valve repair or heart surgeries or or aneurysm surgeries. If you are unable to perform, a mentor from the association is chosen, and you need to write an application to the secretary's desk, wherein they will come down and help you to train of doing the surgeries. Of course, many clauses and are there wherein you need to fill a form. There's a Google form which has been created and circulated almost three times. I have received till now around eight applications which will be attended to. Apart from this, IACTS projects, yes, IACTS National Database Registry which we happened. It was a big challenge for me to start a database registry. If you ask me, today we do not have our own guidelines. That's what our discussion was going on. We have, we always follow, you follow UK and US. We have read textbooks written by them because we don't have our own research articles. When we can produce all this, when we have our own database. This is a huge initiative taken by the association. It is coming up in a bigger way slowly. And uh, we happened to start the, initially I planned for our institute. Why not for the entire country? 12 nodal centers in the country were recognized. And uh, a data man base manager was identified and we got it inaugurated way back in the year 2020 by then the health minister of the government of India, Dr. Harshavardhan. He inaugurated the database. And last two and a half years, we trained the institute's uh, 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 the assistants, physician assistants, or perfusionist, or the residents. Training is happening every day almost. And we have trained almost uh, close to around uh, uh, 90 plus uh, physician assistants or perfusionist or students across the country in these 12 nodal centers till date. And uh, initially, first two years, we initially planned only for the institutes to see how it runs. The database uh, formation also was ch quite challenging. Initially, I thought uh, replicating the STS database, we happened to take that and plan on an Indian platform. It was almost 67 pages. And our our surgeons refused to fill 67 pages which takes hours together. There are different data operators in US and UK. But that was not to be implemented here. The template formation, that was challenging. Template we happened to form, I sat and uh, studied seven templates of different countries, whether it is USA, UK, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand. I happened to study their templates and formerly fund, formed the Indian template, which is six to seven pages for adult and congenital heart disease. Templates for aortic surgery is on process. Template for thoracic surgery is on process. So templates were formed for adult and congenital of about six to seven pages. Takes exactly three to four minutes to attend. It is mobile friendly, laptop friendly, system friendly. Anywhere as the patient is putting dressing, as the sisters are putting dressing, the resident or assistant can fill in their mobile. Each person will be given a separate email ID. They will be trained how to enter data. Data at present, we are using Red, Red Cap platform, which is one of the Australian-based uh, data platform. We are using that and we are using Amazon cloud services on monthly rental basis to store our data. The aim is to come up with our own data IACT servers, which I will be, I am already working on that. So at present, in last two and a half years, we have collected more than 21,000 plus data. We have formed IACT's database committee. Now, last uh, this year onwards, 23 onwards, we have uh, enrolled individuals also who are uh, attached to institutes wherein uh, to fill up their data. They are also coming up. I would encourage many more people to come down. It's a very simple procedure. On the website you visit, you can always register your name. The IACT's database manager will immediately call you for, uh, for how to progress. We have made a MOU so that data is a very sensitive issue. All in institute face challenges when they had shared the data and also we were quite uh, clear on how we go about. We have a legal advisor on board so that uh, uh, that MO is signed and then we we, we go forward with that. Another uh, program initiative was World Heart on World Heart Day, the IACT's outreach program. It's mainly educating the public. Many many more initiatives are taken under this program. It was inaugurated in the in in last year on World Heart Day, September 29. Many events were conducted across the country. Wherein uh, even basic uh, life support training, basic life support training, BLS training were uh, given to a number of members and uh, this will be taken in a larger way through the association shortly. Yet challenges are plenty. One limited, what are the challenges I am facing? Limited innovations, little or no understanding of challenges within the city years. Scarcity of homographs, growing cardiovascular disease in India. For your kind information, the current statistics, every minute four Indians are dying because of cardiovascular diseases. That's the current statistics today. 
and children born every 100 children born 1.4 is the rate that is around 1 uh, 1.4 child is born with the heart disease so in the next five years it is going to increase by five fold that is every 100 children born you have 10 children being with congenital heart disease where are we standing today and how many are affording treatment in these 100 children is only 20 percent remaining 80 percent are drying like house flies if you ask me that is the current statistic in the country what it is facing i worked a lot in that i had certain meetings with the government of karnataka and also government of india also how we can go forward i have my plans how we are going forward that i will be sharing with you shortly absence of medical leader presence from ctvs that's one lack of skill based models and leadership that's another thing, skill-based learning, learning program. We have Dr. Hamdulillah, the president of the skill-based training program, which took an initiative and working in collaboration with the ISETS, how we can take it forward and uh, practically how students can be implemented. Fewer takers of CTVS over the years. If you ask me, 80 to 90 percent of the seats in NEET examinations are going vacant. Who is the reason for this? In fact, if you ask me, we are the reasons for this. I can put forth like that straight away because we fail to train our youngsters. And that's where I'm looking at. And this is coming up in a major way. And definitely in the next three years, we 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 will make a revolution to see that the city based takers increase by default. That's where I've aimed at, and I'm already working on it. Apart from this, the aging workforce, we have our senior faculty, definitely, who all the masters are getting old. Somewhere down the line, we need to have the younger masters, and that also will be in place shortly. The solution, what is the solution for this? That was a center of excellence which I had planned and this has been named as Kesar HB, Center of Advanced Surgical Excellence and Research and Homograph Bank. If you ask me, there are only seven homograph banks in the country. Even a state like Maharashtra, the financial capital of the country, failed to have a homograph bank. Now, why do we require a homograph bank? Yes, makes a huge difference for a child. We can't replace a valve. We can't replace a conduit. And the number of surgeries required in a child are plenty. It's not that doing one surgery ends up him for a lifetime. He undergoes three to four major surgeries. Elderly makes a huge difference. Younger patients also where homographs are required makes a huge difference. And homograph banks, according to the Government of India, Transplant Act 1994 should be provided free of cost. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen in our country yeah, because the cost required in maintenance of homograph itself is there. Even a country like Australia has got only three homograph banks. Recently, the director of Australia Homograph Bank spent one week in our institute and there they charge 4.5 lakhs per val, homograph valve. And our country ends up spending 40 to 60,000 per valve. Many can't afford and even the demand and the availability ratio is huge difference is there and that requires education. So many heart transplants are coming up in picture. Our own students, our own faculty go up abroad getting trained themselves in heart transplants and heart related surgery spending about 6 to 8 lakhs. Everybody can't afford that. So how can that training be encouraged in our own institute in our under the association of ICTS has to be taken a lead. Now in this case RSB, what all are we are looking at? One is a first free homograph bank for the world which I am planning it and it's already work is in progress and uh, it's a huge project by itself which uh, together we are working on towards it and a headquarters for the ICTS data, data, database which we are hosting at, uh, the, at the same plan and another thing is multiple innovations cafes and labs wire skill training programs where clinical research can be there in collaboration with the other associations which are coming up we are working on those guidelines also score skills uh, center foundation that's all where to, i am working on where it's a whether auditorium library online journal centers or ICTS museum where our the today's youngsters do not know who is who 70 years back the association had been so much contributions if you don't know who our mentors it's it is a shame on the on the students also but not doing our mentors we need to know who is who and having their own museums Wet labs and hands-on training, skill-based cardiac surgical dissections, CPRs, uh, CPR modules, and even morphology demonstrations and several courses, surgery, resources for clinical practice, infrastructure, and administrative, legal, and scientific activities are all coming planned in this uh, center of excellence. We have a separate executive committee for that, which has been formed. A bylaws has been initiated. All members can join that, and each person will be given certain certain roles to play. It's not just coming, sitting on the chairs. Each person will be related role, and everybody is accountable. That's where we are looking at. These are the few emergency members we have charted out. Many more will be added shortly, and uh, each person will be on the advisory board. Who is who in the country will be looked into. Apart from that, I, as I mentioned, I have a few names mentioned as of now. They are still in the process. The bylaws are in process of uh, for fan, uh, founding it, uh, working on this. And how does it fund? It's a huge project of 350 crores. So how do I fund is a big question mark by itself. But anyway, the the, the, the initiation has been started and uh, and uh, we mainly fund by the ICTC donations from members. It's an ATG benefit. I got recently certified by the CSR funding also. I applied for the international funding also. And all these things are in place. 
the proposed campus land has been identified close to Bangalore. Last four years, I've been working on this project. And initially, I tried a free land from the government of India, Karnataka, which I had my own challenges. And finally, things are in place. Land has been identified. A token advance amount has been handed over. And followed by that, we are looking it for additional funds uh, for the progress of the uh, progress of this uh, project. It's a five-acre land. And uh, 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 structure design has been already put in place. And as we grow in the next, uh, by the next general body meeting, I will have something to present solid in front of the association general body members. Dear friends, investing towards a better collective future and making every heartbeat count is the aim. And that's where I'm aiming at towards the association. I hope I require everybody's cooperation. There are many leaders sitting here and I think uh, many more to come in and join. So... I, I see that every person leaves behind a legacy in their cardiovascular field. Thank you so much. I'm happy to answer any questions, sir. Yes, sir. I did have a work of time and hospital where I was saying it was still functional at that time. The biggest challenge is procuring and uh, it has a lot of legality because we have yes. to the heart and if the consent is as good as taking a consent for organ donation. Secondly, the uh, expense that we have to bear for maintaining it. And then, as you said, that we have to give it free of cost till we can't sell it or charge it in our country. Yes. I think that was the biggest reason for failure of uh, homograph back in Mumbai. Uh, we need to I mean, basically find out ways at least uh, try to get this homograph thing so that we generate at least some revenue so we can continue functioning. So that needs also to be addressed. Right? So, yes. Yeah, that's good job. I think your work about 28 hours a day, how much with all the things going on, it's very good. I'll just sort of call a request for you. See with the time limits for all the registrars and the different students. The core program does a very yeah. good job, wonderful job. I can say a request for you to make it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sir, they so expect me to teach the entire city ways in those two days. It's very challenging. No, three days, sir, please. Then yes, I sir. Really enjoy the program, and therefore, I would love to be there from the first to the last minute. Yeah, you are always a faculty for the last nine years. It's yes. one, they all uh, they all contribute voluntarily, sir. That's oh, where it is. We took this initiative when Dr. Hamdali was a secretary. At that time, uh, during this term only, we had planned this. If you make it for three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, please look into it. Yes, sir. Definitely, I'll put forth this proposal sir, in the upcoming meeting and definitely I'll take it forward, sir. Yes, it's done. Sir. It was requested by many residents also. I had challenges, but I will definitely take it forward. Sir. I think there is a sea change in the way I is functioning now. Yes. For good, I think uh, we can appreciate the uh, amount of efforts that we put by Dr. Hiramar. And uh, you, I know that with being a secretary of that uh, treasurer, how uh, much of uh, you know, bringing everybody on the same platform and getting things moving is a Herculean task. And uh, he is facing it. So I think that's what exactly you said. He works for 28 hours a day. Uh, yeah, he, he generates four hours per day. So I think uh, we are all there with you very much. I think this is the need of the hour. But yes. if this uh, cardiovascular graphic surgery faculty has to sustain and grow. Yes. So you, I have plans to attend the medical okay. colleges also, sir, on board, wherein the BLS training programs all have been planned so that they will be educated. Sky is the limit to grow in cardiac surgery. And unfortunately, people are not well educated. They get uh, discouraged. Recently, people come down. Medical students, about six people come down before going for the interview. They come spend some time with me. They are interested because of discouragement for the surroundings. They came to ask me, should I join cardiac surgery? Especially girl, girls are taking cardiac surgery off late. And I encourage them, what is the scope and all? And they are taking, they are coming down, sir. So I think we will make a change, sir. That's where I'm heading towards. Let's see. I think I got this topic and I requested Dr. Hiramar to come and present this in front of the other audience. Was that I attended three or four IAPGS conferences in the last four or five years. And then I realized that even in GBM, we did not have a chance to show what he has been doing and what changes are possible and they are coming. 
like database itself, we have put in a lot of effort, but very few people know about it. And uh, then even on the website, most of us don't go to it regularly, only go to uh, look at our own specific thing and then log out. So I thought that this will be a good initiative and I would request you that in every IACPS meeting, we should have a lecture like this about Sorry. the IACPS, how it is growing and what all can be added to this. Yes. Sir, one more few things I would like to update is the ICTS has taken initiative. I identified a CEO for the association who is a master brain himself and uh, I will be presenting him in the month of, uh, uh, in, in the general body meeting. That's number one. Recently had a meeting with the IIT team Madras where how I, how uh, technology can be implemented, uh, the, the, the artificial intelligence. Sir, there is something called as uh, artificial intelligence uh, touch-based. There's a professor, uh, I had a, almost a two hours meeting with him and I am putting I am put him as an honorary consultant for our association. I'm trying to get IT technology professors on board as honorary consultants. That makes a huge difference how technology can be implemented. If you want to do a beating heart surgery, I'm creating a module of beating heart surgery when he gets touch feel also in using artificial intelligence. That's where we have planned in the center of excellence also, what all, uh, what all uh, in, including I'm planning to implement a robot also. And Sudhi Sivastava, robot for your functionality, I will donate a free robot. That's what he has promised. So let's see how it goes. Let us make a difference even for minimal access training. The hands-on training should give a virtual feel. That touch-based feeling is where artificial intelligence is playing a role. And even that is planning to get implemented. So when students are encouraged this, we can do a hundred of them on the lab in these simulators. And we can have tie up with the various institutes across the country where this becomes a hands on training on practical aspects before you touch a heart or direct heart there. So that's where it makes a huge difference. And that training definitely takes CTBS course ahead, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.